Well, the, the challenge of making this film, every film has its own language, its own visual vocabulary. And I had the stories of these men who were abused many years ago, and also the, the story of their quest to come from Mexico and the United States, Ireland, to Rome to file this, this case. And so I tried to uh, fashion a contrast between the beauty of Rome and the, um, the poetic language uh, of the church, the sacred language of the church, the, the statues, the icons, uh, the beautiful frescoes, and to contrast that with the, uh, the, the faces and the body language of the men as they recount the story. So unlike uh, films, say, documentaries that are made in war zones where you're constantly in cinema reality, uh, I didn't have that advantage. Uh, this is a reconstruction of the past. It's a, a journey into time. And I tried to use the beauty of Rome in contrast with the more rustic uh, environments of Mexico uh, and the, uh, the more sort of uh, urban patina of parts of America, particularly Los Angeles, where the abuse uh, demonstrations and San Francisco. So it's, uh, it's a way of contrasting different, different parts of the world where different parts of the story uh, take place. It's a very good question. What caused the cover-up? Why would they allow it? This, this is not a, a quick answer, I'm sorry, but you have to look at the experience of Pope John Paul II when he was Cardinal Wojtyla in Poland 